QM. Let's make history. Welcome to episode 49 of Ting Wang News. So it's been a few weeks and now I am back. I had to come back because there's something big happening this week. Jackson is going to be on national television this week here in America. So I was like, girl, you know you got to get up early Monday morning and do this news. I'm so excited. <laughs> but anyway, before we jump into that, I do have a few things to talk about first. Jackson travels all the time. And I saw this video last week, actually a few videos last week. He was trying to get to his next destination and everything. But it was very, very overcrowded. He had no room to breathe. People were invading his personal space and it really like disturbed me. Not only because of that, but we're in a pandemic as well. And even if we weren't in a pandemic, why are you invading someone's personal space? Like, it really just made me mad. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Us as fans, can we be more civilized? You know, I've been at airports or at the concerts and waited for celebrities and everything but I always stay my distance I'm not all up in their face and I always give them room to walk to breathe to think you know to to do whatever like you just have to think about these things so I hope in the future that this does not continue to happen because Jackson is getting bigger and bigger as the seconds as the days as the weeks as the months as the years go by he's already international as it is so just just imagine how even bigger he's going to be really soon. So, yeah. But that was just something that I saw that I wanted to make sure I talk about first. Because that's very important. His safety and his health. So, it was announced last week that Jackson was going to be performing on Sisters Who Make Waves Season 2 on their finale episode, right? And we was like, okay, he's going to be singing Leave Me Loving You, right? But guys, he performed a new song called DNA. And I got the vibes in my DNA. I got the vibes in my DNA. It's not really just his song. It is a whole pack. Pan the pack. And the new song is called DNA. And it's a bop. It is fire. Straight up fire. Like, muy muy caliente. Fuego. It's just... It's hot, it's hot. And I can't get enough of it. If you haven't heard it, be sure to listen to it. I'll definitely have a link below to that. It's a bop. And I've been having it on repeat all weekend. <laughs> and I actually did a reaction to the performance and the song. So <laughs> check that out be sure to check that out i'm just really like just so hyped and just so excited y'all know how i get and not only that pan the pack is a group and i heard four voices on the song so that means there's four artists in this pack and pan the pack are the first artists from team wang records that's right team wang records Jackson has a record company. We already know that Ting Wang is a brand and everything. And I'm just so proud of him. So proud. Another important thing that happened on that day when he performed was Ting Wang posted these photos of Jackson. And the aesthetics of that outfit was just, whew, chef's kiss. He looked good and everything all the time. He looked good. But then there's this one photo and we can see his neck and Jackson has a new tattoo, new tattoo alert. Um, and it says one, two, three with a little heart. A few years ago, he started wearing a necklace that says one, two, three. And he said that it has a really special meaning to him. 
So I'm sure in the future, Jackson will tell us what one, two, three symbolizes, and I can't wait to hear what it's all about. So the main reason why I came today to make this video is I heard a big announcement over the weekend. My friend Laura told me, and I literally was crying and emotional in the grocery store when she told me, Jackson is going to be on the Late Late Show with James Corden this week, April 21st episode. Can you believe that? <laughs> I'm so excited and happy for him. This is big. This is really big. So here's all the information about the show. Um, and I have a link below and everything. So all us fans that live here in America, it will be coming on CBS. And I'm excited. Jackson is going to be performing on national television for the very first time. And I cannot wait. I don't know if I'm going to like make a reaction or I'm just going to just watch it. I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm just ah, ecstatic about it. So we always know that Jackson always got big things going on. And it's been announced that he's an ambassador of this contemporary event and everything. And they did a special short film as well. And he looked amazing. And I'm just so proud of all of these accomplishments. Like, he is so... Ah, love this man. So another big thing that has happened is Jackson is the most followed k-pop star on instagram he has over 23 million followers congratulations to the king oh my goodness also he is the most followed chinese performer on that platform and also he is the fifth most followed k-pop star overall that's amazing i'm so happy and proud and also on facebook he is the most liked k-pop artists as well can you believe this of course we can believe it because it's jackson but this is good this is amazing this is wonderful this is great i'm so proud congratulations congratulations jackson congratulations so proud. Just to let you guys know, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm just super excited and super hype, but I'm usually like this anyway, but the level is like on 100,010. <laughs> I'm just so happy for him. You guys don't know how much he means to me, and I'm just so proud. I'm just so happy. Something else big happened for me personally that has to do with Jackson. So, on Saturday evening, it was around 7.45, I was taking a nap. And my phone rings, and my sister's calling me. And in my head, I'm like, why she calling me? I was sleeping, man. And she says, Dorney, Dorney. I'm like, yeah, Mia, yeah. Jackson's on the radio. I said, girl, stop lying. I know you lying. And then I can hear it in the background. And I hear Jackson's, leave me loving you. I'm like, what? What? So I slipped on my shoes. I jumped off the couch. I ran out the door, I jumped in the car, and it was Jackson on the radio. And I was like, yeah. I was emotional, I was happy, I was just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, but shout out to my sister for calling me and telling me. moment the day has come when i hear jackson on the radio on my radio i didn't have to play the song off my phone i heard it on the radio for anyone that doesn't know i live in georgia and of course it's played on other radio stations but it was played where i live because i don't live like in atlanta or the big city or anything i just live in a regular suburban town and i heard it on the radio and i was like So recently I made this post about Jackson because I was just thinking he has done so many things and he can do so many things and he has all these accomplishments. So I want to name those and talk about it because y'all know I say I'm proud all the time, but I'm really just so proud of him. Jackson Wayne, a CEO, a singer, a dancer, a model, a rapper, a director, a designer, a producer, a songwriter, a screenwriter, a businessman, a motivational speaker. The list goes on and on. 
and on and on and on and on. He's a freaking living icon. He is just truly amazing and I'm truly inspired by him every day. Like he started just from having Team Wayne. Let, let, let's talk about this for a minute. Jackson left everything, moved to a new country that he knew nothing about. He became a star. He debuted and got seven. He ventured off to doing his own solo things while still being in Got Seven. Do you know how much work that is? How much dedication that takes? And then, while he's doing all of that, he made Ting Wang. Ting Wang has so many divisions now. Ting Wang is a brand. It's a record company. It's a designer company. Like, there are so many things. Production artist management like can you believe this like who else who even knows what else jackson has planned and that he's working on because y'all know he is spontaneous and he'll just pop out of nowhere with anything you can't outrun just a better be ready we better be ready because this is a king and he is just he's extraordinary he is a genius a musical genius he's just an intellectual man he's just the most amazing human being yeah okay maybe the second because jesus is the most amazing but yeah i don't want to ever like discredit jesus but i'm just truly so proud and that's all the news that i have for today y'all Ting Wayne, God day, let's make history.